I think it's a mistake to say, oh, he withheld aid until he got what he wanted. Well, if it's corruption and he believes there to be corruption, he has every right to withhold aid. So I think it's a big mistake for anybody to argue quid pro quo. It didn't have quid pro quo. And I know that's what the administration's arguing. One of the interesting things about the whistleblower is I think people should ask how he got the information or she got the information because I think it was gotten illegally. Only a certain people can listen to the phone call. And I think very few should be listening to the president's phone calls. But that group was selected. The whistleblower's outside of that group, mm -hmm. so somebody in this small group broke the law. The statute says the inspector general can't reveal the name. There's nothing that prevents me from saying it now other than that I want it to be more about the process and less about the person. But there's no law that prevents me from mentioning the name of who's been said to be the whistleblower. Congress needs to step up and have equal courage to defend the president. Hunter Biden made $50,000 a month. That's the definition of corruption. We know he got it only because of his family connections. We also now know the name of the whistleblower. The whistleblower needs to come before Congress as a material witness because he worked for Joe Biden at the same time Hunter Biden was getting money from corrupt oligarchs. I say tonight to the media, do your job and print his name. Reserving the right to object, I'm disappointed that any senator would come to the floor and find the Bill of Rights laughable. The Sixth Amendment is an important part of our Constitution, and the right to face your accusers is incredibly important. It's disappointing that in these highly partisan times, that a, an actual U.S. Senator would come to the floor and say that it's laughable that we would apply the Bill of Rights to the President. I'm very disappointed it's come to this, but I hope Americans will say and try to look at this with a more fair mind and say, absolutely, the President deserves the same protections that the rest of us deserve. I object. And I say this to my fellow colleagues in Congress, to every Republican in Washington, step up and subpoena Hunter Biden and subpoena the whistleblower. And I say to my colleagues, if Shifty Schiff will not let Hunter Biden come, and if he will not bring the whistleblower for, every Republican in Congress should take a walk and say, this is a farce.